some people in your life, they're attracted to your light. They're attracted to your light. This is a good thing. They're attracted to your fire, your passion, your personality, your gift, your anointing. They are magnetized towards you. This is cool. This is good. You are to let your light shine. It's people that don't know their left from their right. And if you're the light, then you're pre you're preparing the way for them. You're showing them the way just by being the light. How do you be the light? Being bright and being positive and being thoughtful and considerate. This is what causes your light to shine brightly. The antithesis of this is to dim your light or just to snuff it out altogether. But keep in mind, not all kinds will come to your light with the best intentions. Beware, not all kinds will come to your light with the best intentions. Our personalities, how we project ourselves, it is like a garment that we wear. So you might be full of love all the time or at least most of the time. That's your garment. You might be a super serious person, very austere natured. Most of the time, this is your garment. Some people who come to your light are actually moths. They're moths. And moths are known to eat clothing, eat holes in your clothing. A moth won't bite you, but it'll eat your garment. It will eat and consume the things that you cover yourself up with. That's what a moth is. A moth can be real dangerous because these are people who are always trying to one up you. They're the person that always wants to demystify everything you got going on. I'll give you an example. You could say. Yeah, man, I just made a thousand dollars today. The moth is going to say, yeah, but easy come, easy go. You're going to lose it fast. How did you get it? What did you do? Who did you rob? Who did you steal from to get it? That's a moth. They're trying to eat into the clothing of your victory. They want to chew right through whatever security blanket. They want to chew right through the tuxedo that your personality is. They want to bite through it. And what happens is when we run with different circles and we live a superficial and shallow life and we're trying to always be in everybody's face, we're always looking for social validation. We always want to hang with the cool kids and be popular. We don't have any time to be an individual. We're afraid to be alone. When this happens, as life goes on, you're going to find yourself leaking because there's going to be so many holes in your personality from all the moths that you took on. <clears throat> moth might have been a job. Moth might have been an ex-spouse. Moth might have been a caretaker. Moth might have been a fake friend. A moth might even be who you used to be to yourself. You might have been chewing holes in your own identity. And when that stuff spills out, it's a consequence. It's not the same thing as your cup running over. If your cup is running over, that's cool. Your garments are soaked. Your personality is soaked in a blessed energy. That's okay. You can flood everywhere. Why? Because you're constantly being poured into. But this is not what happens with people who are consumed by spiritual moths. They're not being poured into. They're not pouring into themselves. Once the wine of life leaves their sense of purpose, they're going to be drained out for good. They're going to be a dried up wine skin full of holes. You go ahead and cut the pockets out of your jeans and try to stuff them with $100 bills and let me know how secure you feel. Because when you get your personality chewed out, and when you're dealing with these moths, they'll eat at your pockets. They sure will. They're not just going to take out the, the shoulder piece of your jacket. No, if you, if you leave your garment exposed, 
if you let all of these moths hang around your light, eventually they're going to eat the part of the garment that covers the pockets and protects the money. So not only will you be busted, but you'll also be disgusted. You'll be busted and disgusted. You'll be a bust. You'll be someone who had potential, someone who had great promise, but never believed in themselves enough to use it. So you're walking around leaking. You want to patch that up? Keep the moths out of your life. 